Hello, welcome to another edition of the Bethel Writing Center's Resource Podcast. I'm Emily. And I'm Bethany, and today we will be talking about outlining. Struggle with figuring out how to structure your paper? Seed up countless nights wondering why your ideas just weren't making sense? Shed an ocean of tears because your thesis statement didn't fit with everything else? Well, we have a solution for you. Try the Bethel Writing Center ingredients for a better paper, Outline Edition. Today we will be preparing an outline sandwich. So what does every proper sandwich begin with? Bread. In the case of your paper, the bread is going to be your introductory and concluding paragraphs, which are there to keep everything else together. If one of your pieces of bread isn't strong enough, everything is going to spill out and make a mess. We want your introduction paragraph to be the first thing the reader tastes and give it a first impression of what your paper is about. First of all, if your sandwich looks boring, no one will want to eat it. You need to begin with something that will grab the reader's attention, like an interesting quote or fact, as sort of an appetizer to the rest. In our sample paper, we want to write about how turkey sandwiches are the best. We introduce this with a fun fact about the origin of sandwiches, which is interesting enough to get a reader's attention and cue the reader into our topic. After you've selected the bread of your paper, you need to make a list of the ingredients you want included. What will go best with your bread and what will support introduction? Make an ingredients list of the most important things you want. These will become the main supporting sections of your paper, and all of them need to go together to make the most awesome sandwich paper possible. Since we've decided our paper is about turkey sandwiches being the best, we want our ingredients to be all the reasons why, with each reason being its own section. Once you have your main ingredients in, you need to close everything off with a strong conclusion. Your conclusion should support the ideas introduced in your introduction, but shouldn't be identical. It will be the last thing your reader tastes from your paper, so make sure it's memorable. Now, to backtrack a bit, you've probably heard that the thesis statement is the most important part of a paper, and that's true. A thesis statement should be a broad overview of your entire paper, so it needs to match everything else. Your thesis, located in the introduction paragraph, should almost be like a mini outline within your big outline. In your thesis statement, you want to include what you're arguing and the main ingredients you decided on earlier, and how they relate to everything else. Well, now you have all of the ingredients to make the outline recipe. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of the Bethel Writing Center Tips and Tricks. Happy cooking! I mean writing.